What's up, y'all? So, drama alert. CJ so cool asking for not needed prayers and Quando losing it on live. Uh, I don't know what's going on with CJ so cool, and I don't know, child. Let's get into it. This thing I ain't even do a messy Monday last week. I'm sick of it. But now, nah, let's get into it, y'all. Mm hmm. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leak. So, uh, first of all, shout out to everybody who, um, damn, I should have did this video later. Shout out to everybody that <clears throat> pulled up to the stream per use. Um, I appreciate y'all support, man. Uh, I wouldn't be here without y'all, literally. Uh, make sure everybody follow me on Twitch. As y'all can see, my tags are at the top. Uh, I go live on Twitch every day almost. And, yeah, that's where we go and let loose. Loose as a goose, you heard? So, y'all make sure y'all pull up, man, and let's get into this video. Girl, it is so much going on, but... I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. I'm a sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sell now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. POP, you can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get it. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Now that we got spooky season out the way, you did your trick or treat okay, in, it is time for November, which is Thanksgiving, honey. Thanksgiving. I know a lot of y'all like to skip it and go on to Christmas, but no ma'am. Thanksgiving. Nah, we don't ever want to be thankful for that thing. Y'all want to just go on and go to Christmas. Womp, 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 womp. I love Thanksgiving. The fall, Thanksgiving, Christmas is my time. Now, I ain't going to cap. I could care less about Halloween, but, you know, being with a woman that is festive, I've become festive, okay? Y'all make sure y'all go like my pictures and our pictures on Instagram at Royalty's World. All right. Womp, womp. No, be thankful. That's so happy y'all out here struggling now because you ain't giving thanks. You hopping on the gifts and shit. Okay. Sit down somewhere. I want to give a shout out to my friend, and that is Jordan Kendall. Hey, bitch. Jordan Kendall, thank you so much for having my post notifications on. You were the first to comment on my Twitter post, and I greatly appreciate it. So for you taking the time out to support me, I am taking the time out to show you my gratitude, okay? Hey, bitch. So I guess we finna go on and get into this shit, and that's the sugar honey iced tea. He because don't even you sound like he want to do this shit. Girls, look, stand in some shit. First of the sugar honey iced tea, we have Jen. You have been gone for a minute, child, and I really don't want to speak on you, but we gonna talk about it. <laughs> So, Jania had went on a YouTube video and they were playing, I guess, Truth and Drink. Will Jania ever get back with control? Yup. Oh my God, I like, was gonna drink, I'm so bad. Uh, I already got copyrighted for this video. I don't get ahead again. Miss it. Where was all that energy when she was dating these other men? Right, like, oh, I'm over him, I don't like him, I won't take him back, I'm in love, I don't grew, I don't... Bitch, if you still like that man, even when you was sick... I ain't get no emotes yet, friend, I need help. Go and date other niggas, you could've just said that, don't... Like, I got emotes, but not my emotes. <laughs> Act like you just didn't like him back then, so now it's like, when you say you like him, we like, girl, bitch, we been knew that. So a fan had said, that mean they gonna end up fucking around again. And Jania replied with, will we ever get back together? Probably not. Now, girl, if you want him, just say that. Okay? Probably. You just don't know what he gonna do. You know what I'm saying? You know he dealing with Yaya, you, this other girl, and you don't want to look dumb saying, yeah, I want him, and then, girl, he mixing and mingling with any, me, and mine, and hope. But the friendship and co-parenting will always be there. 
and then she turned around and responded to that person and she i think these women well uh, girl let me not say all of them but some women just don't get over their baby daddy you know what i'm saying okay trash you got to tell me how to do it because i need emos also trash can you please change my damn night bot and have them say what the goddamn hell yeah <laughs> only my cousin know you know, I didn't even have to tell him how to spell that because he know how to spell that. You know what I'm saying? I need you to tell my Nightbot to say what the goddamn hell yeah because since you created my Nightbot, I don't know how to change that shit, okay? So I need you to change my Nightbot to say what the goddamn hell yeah because did you notice I changed my intro to what the goddamn hell yeah, Lee? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, because I need you to goddamn hell yeah. For me, you know what I mean? For real, hell yeah. He said, Girl, honestly, I gotta see this man forever. We don't have to be together. Long as each other is happy and no dusty, raggedy hole try to play him, we good. First of all, sis, that's none of your business what going on after you. See, while you over here dibbling and dabbing and putting your hand in their cookie jar with what they got going on, honey. That's gonna fuck up whatever you got going Yo, he really on. You know what I'm saying? He money. ain't your issue no more. Long as he provided for his child. And you do what he to do as a father. All right. Whatever him and that hoe got going on, you don't need to be tiptoeing in there. When one of these hoes step you across your face, you're going to feel stupid. Thought you was that it girl. And you're going to be that girl who's the hit girl, okay? You know, the girls love trying to send some liminal messages, honey. Like, oh, but if a girl like tries to be nasty with him, girl, I'm going to have to do something about it. <laughs> what? And it's the man that made her feel so good and she got his name tatted and moved on into another relationship, honey. And she's single, girl, and her man out of jail. She got to put her foot back down. But y'all, y'all done popped out too. <laughs> so, I don't know what to tell you, sir. <laughs> she, some of them. She better damn make fuck happen. Some of them just not going nowhere. Anyway, oh, God. Ooh, these girls just so discombobulated. All right. It ain't about me. <laughs> Let's geeky. Okay. Next to the sugar honey iced tea, we have CJ So Cool. Now, CJ, you've been gone too for me, but some way, somehow, you managed to get yourself back on the next Monday. Pray for royalty. She's fine, but she got into a car accident. <sighs> now, now, damn CJ. <laughs> God forgive me. What the hell we praying for, folks, if she fine? Maybe we could just pray for her mental health because she could be shook it up, shaking yeah. up. What the fuck is we supposed to say? Rowling up, ruffling up. I don't even know if that shit real. <laughs> Not. You know what? That's what happens. They be doing all this fake ass shit. Don't nobody believe nothing they say. I'm over here thinking this is a prank. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the dog, break us with the relationships, break us with Corey, break us with my man. I'm fucked. Where the car? Can I see the car? That's so terrible. Did she just get a bomb? Why she just shaking the bomb? Look, can we see? Is there pictures in the hospital? Let me see. Y'all, he did kill that dog. Oh, um, but she hurt. Yeah, I mean, she fine, but pray for her. Um, she do need it because she took him back. So we go, oh, that's we gonna pray for her. All right. Okay, well, glad she's doing good. Sorry to um, Damn, Clarence live. Look, niggas been waiting on this nigga to go live. He live. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ryan, you can go look. Go look. Nigga, holla at me. Come back. <laughs> the car, right? Might have been a little fender bend, a little scratch or something. You know how he blow things it's out of proportion. Me. All yeah, right, we praying it. for. <laughs> Pray for. She fine though. All right. You on Twitter? If it ain't about me, she fine. But pray for royalty. Next case. Next to the sugar honey ice tea, we have Lil Dirk and Indy. Baby, the internet have went into a frenzy when it's happening. Because, you know, we love these two, honey. Like, these two just can't do no wrong. So when this right. happened, child, the girls was gossiping. So Lil Dirk had to look at his um, Instagram. And then Royalty had went onto her Instagram. And she took all the pictures off. So everybody took a Twitter and was like, I know you fucking lying. What's going on? 
they start posting things like this right here. I'm over here like, girl. <laughs> what he done here? So, baby, I guess they thought wasn't nobody gonna pay no attention to the child. With these comment police and these FBI lurkers, oh, they gonna see everything who you follow, who you unfollow, when you turn your page off, and everything, what pictures you like, all that. So, baby, they started trending on um, Twitter and yeah, shit just went crazy. crazy. So that's when Lil Durk came back with his Instagram. He posted this with a caption. Y'all know damn well this shit forever. And then right. she gonna put play dangerously in love, child. I said if y'all had an argument, honey, and you was mad at Durk, just they say They gotta it. stop doing that shit. I will say that's something I stopped doing because it's so ugly. <laughs> it's just... You break up with somebody or, or get upset in a moment knowing damn well you ain't going nowhere. And then get the um deleting pictures and, and, and unfollowing each other on Instagram and blocking each other. And... Ugh, I'm done with it. Yeah, I feel like I'm done with the, the internet period on my business. Okay. I'm going to just, I'm going to start Omarion and everything. Okay. Because. Omarion, he, he's, a, he's a strong young man when it came to that situation. He might have been raising hell behind the scene. But on the scene, you didn't know. You didn't know what the hell was going on. Very much gave, she got pissed about something, honey. Because when women, when we get upset, we delete the pictures off Instagram. We say, fuck you. We want you to know it, girl. We low-key want to throw you a little light like shade. I don't think they broke up, but they had a little disagreement, and he trying to make her upset by deleting his page. Like, I don't want to see shit. Fuck that shit. And she like, oh, okay, well, I don't even want to have no picture with you. I mute some shit, though, real quick. Fuck you. I don't My think it was no shit, yet, but I do believe it was over some slight. You know what I'm saying? He probably didn't tell her where he was going. Might have been out with the boys. A little groupie was there, and she wasn't feeling it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think it was no cheating. I hope not. They was cute. But they came back and cleaned it up. I don't feel no way about it. He sure did. He did, though. Amari, and he, he had to be in an interview to say it. I don't feel no way about it. I ain't tripping it. Do them. I ain't here to say nothing bad. That, like, that's how he did it. You know, you kill niggas with, that's the mother of my child. So, I mean, I ain't going to, you know, I'm not going to disrespect her. They should, they, you know, if she happy, I'm happy. Hell, I, cool. <laughs> that's kind of how he did it. Then she on the other end, like, this bitch ass nigga, he was fucking with blah, blah, blah. I knew him. <laughs> Just... He made her look like a green apple on a tree, okay? Real quick, the child, they had them do damage control. They said, he made uh, her uh, look uh, real bad with saying two words because she was over there going ham. So, yeah, y'all, I'm going to marry on to the shit, baby. Uh, it starts uh, about yesterday. Y'all want us to break up so bad. Uh, yeah, you get paid. Y'all had an argument, bro. Anyway, well... They good. So, all right. If it ain't about me, let's keep kidding. Yeah, okay. Next, the sugar honey iced tea. We have Jordan B. Now, every other month. Y'all know what I'm waiting on. I need my cue. me if I'm wrong, but did we skip a chapter? And Kayla B goes on to Twitter and she has this rant about Jania. And I'm just like sitting over here thinking to myself, on to Twitter. But did we skip a chapter? And Kayla B goes Just everything Lil Nas do, it don't sit right with Boosie. He just don't like it for some reason. So, you know, Nas is like, I want to just troll him back when I want to troll. So Nas took to his um, live. So I've been working on this song with Lil Boosie, bro. I had this song with Lil Boosie from the come out. 
All right, I ain't gonna even, even lie for it. Goddamn, sound a little boost finna come out. Sound a little boost finna come out. So, baby, when I tell you boosting it like that, he took the Twitter and he like went the out. fuck out. And this is what he yeah, said. Yeah. Stop trolling me, faggy. You a whole bitch playing with a gangster. Shaking my head. You can keep sucking dick and getting fucked in your ass in peace. And I'm just like, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> That's how I Why felt. would you even say that? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Like, he just got a different type of hate for that man. All of that. You could have just said, stop trolling me, fag, if you fucking with a real gangster. But you got so visual, sucking dick and getting fucked in the ass. How you know he not doing the fucking in the ass? Okay. Maybe you want to fuck him. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, you know. hate yourself. I would too if I was you. Now it's just like you want the boy to hate himself and it's clear that he don't. It kind of seems like you hate yourself because you worried about a whole nother person who's years younger than you. Boosie act like he can't sleep at night with what Lil Nas is doing. I'm not going to lie. He, he looks like... Like... He is not Omarion to the situation at all. <laughs> and it started with Dwayne Wade child, okay? It started with Dwayne Wade child first. You know, first of all, the hood love Boosie because this nigga come out with a song called Dykin. I got my bitch up in a room, I finna rip her okay? That was our anthem. I mean, it made us, they play it in a straight club, Okay. I ain't gonna cap. We be feeling weird as hell. I know I do by myself in a straight club. I'm the only stud in the club. And he, I got my bitch up in the room. Oh, damn. Everybody looking at me. Two red bone kissing in the back seat. I, how you doing? I'm not a red bone. I'm not red at all. Uh, you know, just brought so much attention to the lesbians in the club, I swear. Niggas looking at you like, yeah, you, you gonna bop to this shit? I'm like, no, nah, I just, I, I'm not, not even a part of the community. I just, I'm here minding my business. You didn't have to let everybody know I was in here. I feel like the DJ was like looking around to see if a stud was in this motherfucker. I bet. <laughs> Two red bones kissing in the back seat. I'm talking, I was like, oh shit, I'm going to the bathroom. I don't, I don't have time for this. It's too much pressure. So he starts that <laughs> and then suddenly he just hate gay people. And it was just like, how, how did that happen? What happened? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it just came out of nowhere, y'all. Lil Nas X came out and boy, he hated. It's almost like he knew a gay man would not be in the, um, in the uh fucking industry doing what he doing you know what i'm saying you ain't oh, mad geez. about it and then i don't even we don't even know why you're mad like why are you mad uh, sir hey <laughs> what did he do did you y'all if y'all just give me 30 seconds i gotta go get me a refill i'm just bringing the bottle how about that Cause we got to have a drink for grandma's her birthday today, man. I told them she talking to her subconscious like, nigga, y'all got me fucked up. You ain't doing shit, nigga. I'm still here, nigga. She may have forgot some shit, but I didn't forget. <laughs> That's my grandma talking to her subconscious, bro. <laughs> DM him and he didn't talk to you. D is he a type and he ain't showed you no type of affection that you want to do a song with him? Why are you mad at this man? I know you say that you don't like the fact that you think he's not appealing for the kids, but he's not a kid. He's grown. He's in his 20s. So he doesn't have to be appealing for the children. Uh, he makes music for children. the grown folks. Same way you make music for the grown folks. Talking about sex, killing, and drugs. And he just talking about... You know what I'm saying? Lil Boosie was so like... In his interview, he was so homophobic and so fucking... I ain't did shit in his interview. Boy, you... N let me tell y'all something. Clearly, we don't know what happened before we was able to get into the club. But when we was able to get into the club, 
Boosie songs was one of them reasons niggas started fighting. I feel like he changed the algorithm <laughs> with, um, I forgot what it's called, y'all. I'm not going to lie. It's something that basically can trigger us when you in a club full of alcohol and a, a certain beat, just like at a rock and roll concert. You cannot listen to no rock and roll before you get there. You get in a rock and roll concert, nigga, you like these, nigga. You ready to bust everybody head. So with Boosie, when he started his songs, that's what niggas was doing. Everybody ready to fight. Bust ahead. Everything. Like, set it off. Set it off. Okay? You want to talk shit? You want to run your mouth? You want to, what do you say? You want a bitch? Ah, oh, shit, I done forgot the word. You want to be in that motherfucking house? We'll set this bitch off. Nigga, well, everybody ready to fight. They call me bad, and nigga, now I'm boosting. Okay? You ain't my equal wing, people. I ain't one. Nigga, what's up, nigga? Nigga done stepped on your shoes. We about to fight. He started it. He started that shit. About sex and fun and relationships. For real. What's the difference? I don't get why you're mad, boosty. But hey, well, it is what it is. Up. If you commit suicide, you do this world a huge favor. Nobody wants you here. Appreciate that was just a little harsh. Uh, Don't you think? Don't you think you said a little bit too far? But you said you out here for the kids, Arisa. and you like to support the kids, and you all for the kids. But you just told somebody's kid to kill themselves. You told somebody's kid that they a faggot. You told somebody's kids it they need to get fucked and suck dick. So y'all music. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. Music can change everything. M music can change your mood. Like, I used to get so upset, like, mad about shit. And I started listening to, like, Whitney Houston and shit. <laughs> Just so uh, I wanted to cry because it's hard for me to cry without listening to music, y'all. Believe it or not. It's really, really hard, unless I'm pissed. But it's hard for me to cry without music and hitting my peak. So say for instance, I ain't cried in a year, which has happened, okay? I got to listen to some music to let that thing out. You know what I'm saying? So I got to listen to <laughs> Whitney Houston, gospel, some shit that's just really going to make me feel what's going on. So, y'all, I went to, listen, last year, hold on, it's the frequency. That's the word that it puts out and sends signals to certain parts of your brain. Thank you, cuz. It's the signal. I mean, the uh, frequency. <laughs> it's a frequency. I couldn't think of the word, but, um, yo, Damo had her concert here, like, what, two years ago or something when I, when I first moved to Atlanta, right? So, boom, we inside of the, the area where you could just kind of enter into other uh, concerts that was going on. So, we leave out a Damo concert. Mind you, I am drunk as hell. Some lady told me I could just buy the bar girl, and that's what I was doing. Excuse me, can I get two of them? Yeah, can I get three of them? Hey, yeah, can I? <laughs> I Y'all, I got me all the drinks that I wanted to get. So we walk across to a hall to a, a rock and roll concert. Now, Damo's frequency was good for me, okay? It was one of these, like, hell yeah, like, oh, yeah. Be, like, you know what I'm saying, one of them. Girl, we walk into a rock and roll concert? I've never, ever been in a rock and roll concert it looked like everybody was dead in there okay this man on the stage he he jumps off the stage just land on everybody on his back it was the scariest shit that i could have been in i felt like i was in a haunted house for a second i ain't gonna care it was just that's the only example i could give y'all it just looked so dead and so dark it just felt so evil in that in that uh that situation you know what i'm saying hated it don't if you ain't into rock and roll baby don't go that that was in there on they was in there on that shit i'm talking on that booger sugar on that meth they was on that shit okay y'all everybody was in there offbeat looking crazy okay i was scared as hell you told somebody i was like yo i'm out this <laughs> Get me you are a walking contradiction. When I seen a nigga jump up and fall on everybody, all I could think of is what if he would have fell on me? You know what I'm saying? I was that close. I'm drunk, just wandering into the, the wonderland of rock and roll, and this nigga just jumped. Y'all, <laughs> like, oh! 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, if he would have landed on my head. You know what I'm saying? My head. This is an internal hate. Like, I don't know what this hate is. Is he dating one of your children? Something. Something going on. I got to do it. But anyway, so Lil Nas' daddy came out, and this is what his daddy said. How the hell are you a gangster rapper promoting drugs, degrading women every video, talking about you're for the kids? Man, sit your old ass down. The game has passed you. We are real bank head niggas exactly. over here. Oh, Not man. like the Damn. guy who claims it. And I was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, daddy, take up for your son, as you should. So then, you know, Boosie okay. had came back and he told everybody, if y'all think I'm gonna get canceled, whatever the case may be, woo, 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 people love me too Boosie much. Ever There's get a ghetto in every city, state, and yada, yada, yada. I'm just like, child, get don't get mad at me because your son came out like that. LOL, I know it hurt. Child, everybody's not like you. There are a lot of people out here who accept their children for who they are. If your daughter a hoe, your son a drug That's dealer, exact. in and out of jail, if your child is gay, it's all the same. Just because your son ain't doing what his son is doing don't mean it's any better in the eyes of a beholder that is in okay yeah, well, listen i don't think boosie is homophobic i think he just has a problem with little nas Boos i don't think he's homophobic either i agree with that i think he hate little nas the new movie my struggle has lots of gay folks in there now i love big Frida, but baby somebody can fuck with you and still not like you, okay? Oh, it could just be about fucking business. And that's what I really feel it is with Boosie and you, Frida, and whoever else working with him. Oh, they work with him because them folks are actors and he probably needed that type of person, but don't mean he fuck with them or fuck with their lifestyle. You can, you can have a racist person in the room with black folks, but it don't mean he fuck with them or like them. And that's what I feel is going on with Boosie Child. He is homophobic, honey. And he don't like you, really. He just fuck with you because it's business. I think we opened the gates of hell. I really don't think he's homophobic. I think Lil Nas, I feel like, I think, because he, you know, he never said anything about Big Frida. But honestly, nobody has said anything about Big Frida. But Big Frida got a different type of respect, though. Big Frida ain't playing none of them games. You know what I'm saying? And Louisiana, I, mind you, Louisiana, that's their, like, that's what they do. Men and women shake their ass the same in Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? So from my understanding and from what I see, you know, Big Frida had a bunch of guys on stage, and I don't even think all of them was gay because I, I hosted an event for Big Frida once. Um, and, you know, everybody was shaking their ass. You know what I'm saying? So I just honestly think that it is a Lil Nas X thing because he's a troll. I really do. I think it's because he's a troll. He don't like that shit. Uh -uh. The last time I was on live, okay. I said something that's – that had me going through an entire week. What'd you say you was getting? Right? What'd you say you was getting? Oh, chips. All right. We could, I said some, I said a certain thing about a certain person. So, you know, I'm just leaving that because it's boring, honestly. It gets boring. So, it is what it is. What? It's boring about a certain person. I said some. I said a certain thing about a certain person. So you know, I'm just leave that because it's boring. Honestly, it gets boring. Yeah, I think that because somebody just said they never heard of Boosie being homophobic until now. I agree. I've never heard him say nothing bad about gay people. He he's a, he has a whole song dedicated to women, which it is a double standard. Don't get me wrong. It's a huge huge double standard with um men and women in the gay community it is you know what i'm saying and uh it's not right it's not right but it's a it's a, a double standard even with when it becomes you know with men and women you know what i'm saying so it's a mess but i haven't heard of him being homophobic to now so it is what it is child i think this this is not gonna stop no time soon they just gotta fight it out 
or fuck it out. <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this. Okay. Next on the docket, we got Don Wando versus his baby mama, Jack. Um, Cinderella, you say he was homophobic in the interview, though, and I agree. Maybe this is all. This is new for all of us because. Boosie is like a Boosie, like one of them hood legend rapper niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for real. He like a hood rapper legend. You know, not a Grammy nominated legend, a hood rapping legend. Okay, we ain't had no issues with Boosie, none. So suddenly he coming out like this is just kind of hitting different. I don't know. Child, this is a whole lot, a whole lot. Know, yeah. Now, mind you. Quando Rondo had went to Twitter and he had started. It started with D Way's daughter. Boosie can't be homophobic. His manager is gay. Guy, he just don't like Nas. And that's what I'm saying. His manager is gay, but I, I said that already too. Like, his manager is gay. He do work with a lot of gay people. That was his whole argument in the interview. I really, really think he just hate Lil Nas X because of the trolling, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. It ranting, and it was on October 22nd. and. At the time, everybody was just like, okay, he's just ranting. And this is what he said. I'm there, I'm single, I ain't got time for no heartbreaks. You gotta cheat on a woman to make her love you. And I'm just like, what the mm. fuck? <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? And I just wow. wanna ride. Wrong or right with you. And I'm just, I just want somebody. Okay. What? This nigga right like he in middle school. I don't know what That's the fuck he talking about I at this agree. point. No, you just writing just to write. I don't even think you know you writing. I just want somebody who all for me. I don't have a girl, so I don't think you got one up on me. Now at the time, it didn't make any sense. But then on October 24th, you pop out with this girl. But you was just saying you don't want a relationship, you don't want no heartbreak, you whoop, 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 yada, 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 and you ain't got no girlfriend, but if you ain't got no girlfriend and you don't want no heartbreak, so how did you pop out with this girl? And that's why now Jay popped out after your pop out, but people tried to say she was bitter because you popped out with this girl. Nah, that's what them tweets was about. Because you was low key fucking with Jay on the low while you was fucking with this other girl. And that's why you said sometimes you gotta cheat on somebody to make them fall in love with you. Because I guess now that you cheated on her, yeah. and you popped out with this new girl, if you see how Jay is mad at you. So I guess you feel like, oh, now you love me when you see I done moved on. But you weren't loving me when I was with you. But what was you doing for her to love you? And then on top of that, you know what? Ooh, it's a whole lot, a whole lot of y'all gotta- It is, cause I can't even keep up. I don't know, he just said a whole lot and I don't know what the fuck he said. Pay attention, follow me camera. So then, when that's when Jay go to her Twitter and she posts this and she said, we spend more time chasing pussy than he do with his daughter that he claimed ain't his all of a sudden. It just don't make sense to me, but it's been that though. And she goes on and she says, y'all be saying I'm mad, bitch, hell yeah, I'm mad. Not cause he fake happy, cause we all know he do shit for social media, but because bitch is behind seen shit that go on that nobody know about and that's what I was trying to tell y'all he really is fucking with this girl they still like each other they still want to be with each other but he was dibbling dabbling with this girl too and I think this girl is just a distraction to try to make him not want to I, you know I was about to say I don't know how people don't know that shit be for the camera especially when somebody always pulling out a damn camera uh, but some people they'll get your ass they will y'all know I've been got a couple times Maybe a few, but w when a girl always want to do something for the camera or the guy always want to do something for the camera, I mean, you either better make a decision, get what you need to get out of it, because y'all understand that we all use each other to use one another. You know what I'm saying? Let me use you for you to use me. We all using each other for us to use each other worry about her or she done did something to him so he trying to get back at her it's like a tit for tat thing but they low key probably dating other people but still fucking with each other cause it's baby mama baby daddy we know what the fuck going on but if I was that girl I would run for the border cause baby this is red flags already mama already up here popping her shit when y'all pop out to let you know that he's still fucking with her girl. And honey it is what it is but all this girl had to do was give me my jewelry and give us the keys to that car. I hate the way he And it was over with. The I ain't said to this girl in a month. 
everything I do. This my I'm watching her. How I'm watching you when every time I go out with my every time me and Kaya get on Instagram or some shit like that, the fuck you come with some wild shit. She come with some wild shit because these two still fucking with each other. So she's probably like, oh, so he want to flex with this bitch. He was just talking this hot shit with me. Th that's what people going to do. And he trying to make it seem like this girl is over here upset and mad for no reason. Nah, boo, I know how this shit works. Ladies, we know how it works. Niggas be acting like they ain't talking that sweet shit in your ear when they got this new bitch book. Child. Can y'all keep up? Because I'm <laughs> lost a bit. He can play that shit for them, but we know the radio. I never be pressed by no nigga. You right here pressed by the girl. That's younger than you at that. What are you talking about you right here messing with a little girl? Apparently you don't know enough. You let a little girl take me from you. Now all of a sudden she a hoe. She getting caught sucking dick because you got this new girl. Why is it when men get new women, they try to make their old woman look like she was just this piece of shit ass woman? This your whole baby mama. How you, come on now. Come on now. And he say he got the video. If you that mad and she really playing you like you just lying and shit, you would have put that video out. You would have showed folks. You would have had your proof and the receipts, but you ain't got nothing. You just doing all this talk, talk, talk. Power E-Trade gives you an award-winning mobile app with powerful, easy-to-use tools and interactive charts to give you an edge. Do the same thing to her. The bitch and nigga F L because you keep getting caught sucking dick. The fuck? Hey, you as a hoe? This hoe around here all kind of to go all goods. over the place, friend. The fuck? I just caught this bitch in the NBA sucking the man dick. Then you let get videos of you. You a hoe. Not this had gone to real before she had Italy. Mom dude in my line. Man, <laughs> Mom, Mama said, "Don't put me in there." You so did. Mama's like, that, I, "Did you that. put me on camera? Don't put me on that shit." Not she put the mama allegedly. Do y'all know the like? I feel like mamas always have closer relationships when they have a son for some reason. I don't know what the fuck that shit is about, but like, you clearly, if you have daughters, just like we just have daughters over here, we you wouldn't know. But with sons. They, it's always a closer relationship, I feel like. And they do dumb shit like that. These, the sons always throw their mamas up under the bus. I never understand. But yeah, I, y'all, I don't, I don't understand what's going on at all. That's what I was trying to, y'all never, y'all didn't tell me one, two, three, four, five. So I just got a one, two, three, four, five. I'm just, you know, we're going to go. Y'all go, go, go. just cheating on each other, say that. Say that. If you don't she cheat on you and then you cheat on her and y'all just cheating and coming back. Which is why Say they let their sons go out here doing dumb shit. You know what? I would never understand that. And I, I like to put out there, like you say I don't have no kids, but now I got two, but I don't have a son. You know, I like to put that out there because I I don't want to act like I know. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have a child. Uh, a son, excuse me. I don't have a son. But th these women, like, it's like they let their sons get away with everything. They could do no wrong. I mean, just look at NBA Young Boy Mama, uh, uh, Kodak Mama, um, I, all of them. <laughs> they all of them have brought their mama. This nigga Quando, they all bring their mama in shit, and they be in it. I'ma stand behind them like all these mamas, and they be wrong as hell. Say <laughs> that, but don't try to act and seem like she just cheating by herself and you not. Cause she said I can air out what you doing, and you said I can air out what you doing. That means both of y'all is doing something. At this point, y'all know who gave it to who. Y'all just got it. This bitch ain't gone to real, but she ain't Italy. I can't believe I ain't you said that. It's eight months. The fuck? I don't give a fuck. child support. None of that. Shit. Boy, I'm about to get a restraining order on this. Restraining. Man, shut up, Mom Deuce. This is the same thing she did to me. Did you say shut up, Mom Deuce? Man, shut up, Mom Deuce. This is now I can tell you to shut up. 
the same thing she did to me. I'ma do it to her ass. I don't give a. My God, my dude, just get it. Now nah, I gotta show live. This on here acting like it's this and that. This I'm giving this jewelry. Give me my jewelry. But then why he was on. Remember, Not somebody he, else said one two three four five, and your ass I said seven eight nine. He was on live talking about. I'm one two three four five. Seventeen nine. 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 You, I don't get left, so I don't know. I guess allegedly he put his hands on a girl. Okay. All right. Mm. If it ain't about me, Shit. let's I, keep I, I'm this. Okay. <laughs> Next one, okay? Yeah, we got good. Jordan and Sam. This is hard, you know. This this is really hard because, um, you know, we tried, we tried and tried and tried. We Child, Sierra's in the Y'all don't belong together. Leave it alone. Shit. Like, boy, if you don't shut the hell up. I can't believe they had a baby. <laughs> Can we just say we not together, we moving on, and end of this video, period. Because, like, she just seemed like this is not the move, okay? But, you know, she I guess she's trying to help him save face before they let it go, honey, but I don't believe it. Because this is, like, what, the 35th time they done broke up and got back together? <laughs> like, <for real>. Child. <laughs> Girl, please, they are not done, honey. Watch what I tell you. Um... Yeah. Since we were 17 years old. Since we were 17 years old. And, and we are now 23. We're now 23. You're about to be 23, I'm right. 23. And um, this, is, this isn't easy, you know. Um, like, and we've been talking about this behind behind the scenes and we've been, um, we've talked about this like ever since the situation, what happened last week, I'm about to post it right here. Um, we've been talking he every day, like down day, there all day, it. every day about the uh, situation and just uh -huh. about us. Uh -huh. And you know, um, before we get into everything about our relationship, bro, I just want to let y'all know, like, y'all know how much I love here, bro. Y'all know how much I care for her, you know, from the good to the bad, um, to everything. Uh -huh. You know, I feel like um, in our relationship, like, I grew from a boy to a man, you know, and she helped me with that. So you mean to tell me? This girl help you grow from a boy to a man just for you to leave her and go experience that happiness and love that she was over here fighting and working with and getting embarrassed for and you gonna go spend it on somebody else? You know what? If I was Sierra and he said that, I would have back in the fuck out of you. Your nose would have been down your neck. Fuck! <laughs> you did what? <laughs> I helped you what? <laughs> okay, you know what? Cut this fucking camera off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this man thought he was saying some stuff. You said some stuff, but it was a whole lot of whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. These they like out here having these children just to break up. Oh God, it's so bad for these children growing up in this new era. Okay, y'all ain't got no mama. This new era of kids. And I'm I'm not even talking about the ones that that we raised, and I'm talking about the ones before that. <laughs> the ones after y'all after ninety four. I feel like everybody lost their fucking mind. Okay, ninety four, which is class of like two thousand ten, two thousand eleven. They were smart as fuck, and I'm talking about. I see why a lot of young people got a lot of money. They were so smart. It was crazy. Yeah, Gen Z came in and just came in like computers, okay? Niggas was smart as hell. We over here still trying to add on paper. They was like, uh, duh, the calculator. You know what I'm saying? So when Gen Z first entered the world, it was straight. And then I, I don't know what happened. Oh, no, nah, yeah, I'm a tech head. But see, I am too, but. I'm not Gen Z. You know what I'm saying? No, man. The dead is. The real life soul ties type shit. Really, it ain't know. that you don't have common sense, though. And I'm not speaking for everybody. But yeah, like, millennials did say, did, did they shit, though. Facts! Millennials is lit. I don't care what nobody's saying. <laughs>
Yeah, I, I feel like after class like 2010, though. After class 2010, y'all niggas is aliens. <laughs> like, aside from the kids that's getting raised now, but some of the kids that's getting raised now is getting raised by some of them Gen Z folk. So the kids that's getting raised now, what are they? Because they're not Gen Z. Ain't no way Gen Z done lasted this long. <laughs> what? What? What is the generation now? It's not Gen Z. Ain't no way. Because Gen Z started after 2000. Well, no, that shit started after like 94. <laughs> Who's still lost on that? Me. And I ain't scared to admit it, you know. She, she, uh, she always gonna have a place in my heart, you know. And I tell her that all the time. And I mean that they for real. And now the fact that she's about to have wow. my child and have my daughter, it makes everything just like 10 times like, they need a new like name. harder. You know what I'm saying? They don't need to be with Gen Z. How is it that you're Gen Z and got a kid with Gen Z? That's crazy. That's great. Because I understand, like, all y'all going to have oh, questions Gen and, X. And, and concerns about, you know, uh, raising so our they child Gen and, X and, now. and stuff. Mm -hmm. But we talked oh, about that. Crazy. We discussed that. You know, <laughs> um, as long as I got it, you know. I like my millennials. Child, Sierra, and my daughter would I was never born right about, on time. You know, like, I don't think y'all understand how good our relationship, like, usually is like when, when I'm we're feeling, friends. yeah, when we're friends, like, yeah. and our feelings are not involved, you know, like, we like the best of friends, you know, and, um, we feel like Isn't that's... Isn't that weird, though? Like, it's not weird, but, like, we literally... Girl, I'm over it. Can we just get off this? Because I'm over it. Y'all know I don't even... Mm -mm. This video probably an hour. 46 minutes, no, ma'am. We're done with this, okay? Listen, y'all, I love y'all. appreciate y'all. We on to the next video. Yeah, yeah.